Welcome to this session on Archicad. We'll be looking at Project A site plan and what you should do and how to prepare a site analysis for Project A. Currently you would receive or when you open your file you would see currently what I see on my site or on my screen sorry which is a um, site survey plan of the pro the site you'll be doing conducting a project on. If you go to this little uh, quick selection, it's a more like a magnetic tool. Select it, the green fill, and just delete that. Things we have to do is look at the site boundary. So if you click on it, you'll notice that we could select the site boundary in one hit. We're going to make sure that they are under a pen or a line type so by selecting it clicking on line type up here and going to this one called double dash which is long dash short dash you'll notice that it changes its appearance also line weight get about pen 4 or 5 if I r scroll in and right mouse click and turn true line weight on see, turn on you'll see that it's defined a lot heavier we need to see that in the definition that you could define the site okay so you'll be setting up your site like this you'll be reducing the length of the contours so it's simple as to make this fit on a three sheet for example we could select the contour lines by select the first one shift hold the shift button down select the multiple contours and then go to the split tool and we'll probably split them around this mark here so run a line through it and then click in the upwards direction and hit delete then that would allow me to bring down the contours to make them fit closer to the site select the text control D to drag and drag into position. Control E is to rotate. Left mouse click on the first point. Left mouse click on the second. Let go of the button. Rotate. Once you have found the position you need to rotate, you left mouse click again. Okay, so let's click on this one. Left mouse click. Control E. Left mouse click. Left mouse click. Let go of the button. Right, move your mouse to the rotated position and left mouse click. This one's a bit um, away so select control D to drag left mouse click get to the position left mouse click control E left mouse click left mouse click rotate and left mouse click okay do another one more time control D left mouse click control E left mouse click left mouse click and then position and the last one control D left mouse click place it in position control E to rotate left mouse click left mouse click and then last time okay so certain things we could do to shorten or sort of um, minimize um, the site so it fits on it, or not minimize but not show the c extent of everything. Once we have saved or set our contours up we could go to the other end if, if we like to by holding the shift selecting the contour lines split tool again run across there and hit delete. Okay then what happens now is you're going to have to show this site plan with the relevant information so for example the rise of the sun and the sun, so sunrise sunset where does the sunrise from and to showing us um, where certain winds come from so southwesterly the colder winds and the hotter winds okay and you have to indicate these on the site so what we're going to do is create for example go to the line tool so before we do that, Control L. Okay, we're going to select the site plan layer combination and go new, and call this site analysis. Then on the um, right side, I'm going to go 
new and call it an site and I'll also we'll go analysis analysis text and then I could go new again and analysis um, symbol just go S Y M new and go analysis notes or um, fields we've got analysis fields so what I've got to do now is update my layer combination so it only shows the site plan information plus the new analysis information so if I click on site plan you'll notice they switched off if I click on the analysis they switched off so I've got to open the eye for the three new layers and hit update and go OK now when I go to my line tool I have to make sure I'm selecting the analysis information so I'll go symbols I'll change this maybe to a thick line and for example I might um, look at this and say we have views so place it there select the arrow tool okay and then I could maybe increase the size of the arrow say to 7 Okay, and that might be my view for representation of views or noise or whatever. I need to create a little key in the top corner here indicating what each symbol represents. Okay, if I go to the circle tool, I could go to site analysis symbols again. For example, if I draw a circle, I could select the circle, change its line type, and I might write in there sunrise and then select the circle control D control drag a copy and I might put in here sunset and again I have a little key here explaining what each icon or each symbol represents then I come over here to project map I right mouse click on the plan folder save current view I come down to custom properties under name and call this site analysis make sure I've chosen the site analysis layer combination I have got a scale of 1 to 200 so it fits comfortably on A3 and I hit create now watch and see the difference with this if I double click on site plan my site analysis symbols disappear double click on site analysis they reappear so what I've done I've created two documents on one story and allows me to now represent or show the relevant information for a site plan as opposed to a site analysis in the next session I'll be looking at taking this information and putting it on title blocks and the relevant information you need for your title blocks thank you